Multi-site linking. Folks, this is what uh, we do at BridgeCom Systems. We have a nice product line called TLNet. And I'm gonna review for you guys a product that we sell called TLNet, in particular the MV series. And also we have a version of it for the amateur radio community called the ARNS. What we have here on display is a three site system. And I'm going to uh, quickly do a block diagram or a and show you guys what's going on. So what you've got is you've got, oh, uh, you've got an IP cloud, okay? You've got an IP cloud, and this is basically the internet, okay? And then you've got an RF endpoint, and we're gonna call this site A out here. Okay, and then you've got another site over here called site B. And then over here, you're gonna have another site, in this case, called Site C. Okay. Each one of these sites, this, in this case, we're looking at a repeater. Okay. And there's a device that we make called the MV1 that connects to the repeater's accessory port and to the internet. And so that's why you see this, okay? So each one of these sites has an MV1 or what we call an ARNS1 if you're in the amateur radio community. So this goes to that, and then of course we have another one right here. Okay. So what happens is in the in the MV1, one of these, there's three of them in this case, and one of them will function as a server. I'll, I'll just make side A function as a server. And inside the uh, MV1, uh, the web-based interface, you can go up and set up a talk map so that if a call comes in on side A, it raises site B and site C. And let me, let me back up. This is, for, this is totally for analog operations. So uh, this is for analog FM. This is not uh, digital radio. Uh, this, this is totally for analog. So these would be analog repeater sites. I just want to clear that up. So you have uh, site A, site B, and site C. So if a call comes in on site A, you want to raise up site B and site C. And so by way of example, we have a three channel system here and we're going to simulate with a, uh, a local area network. I've got a router here and I've got three repeaters, one for each site, and I'm gonna demonstrate basically what happens when uh, a call comes in on one of these sites and you'll see that it raises up the other sites. Why you would need this is so you can increase the range of your transmission. So let, a common application would be, well, this is another mountain and this is like 50 to 100 miles away and this one's, you know, 300 miles away and you've got this arrangement where you've got all these vehicles or uh, amateur radio guys and they want to link their sites and so they're linking them over the internet so there is internet at each one of these sites and that's not too hard to come by these days you're you're basically creating this multi-site linking system that, that creates that effectively you don't you're, you're talking all over this massive area now and you're doing it through the internet and one guy 300 miles away can talk to another guy 500 miles away. You're just, you're only limited by the internet's capability. I mean, this guy could be on the other side of the world, this site, or it could be in a factory where you're trying to uh, in, improve the coverage over a, a factory floor or a golf course for that matter, or any place where you've got obstruction, where you're limited on RF, uh, the radiation of the RF antenna. So it's a, it's a very effective way to improve the, the site's coverage. So let me go ahead and show you by way of example the, uh, the system we've got here. So what we have on display is site A, site B, and site C. And the, I'm gonna come over here. You've got, these, these are effectively, I'm gonna just show you real quick. These are the IP gateways that are connected to the accessory port of each repeater. So each one, one of them functions as the, the master server, then you have a gateway, and I've got two gateways, and they are tied together <clears throat> through the 
uh, in effectively simulating the internet right here. So I've got one radio here. I've got these these radios. And by the way, I'm just for clarity's sake, these ra these repeaters are set up on microwatts, so there's no there's no RF being transmitted. So you can see I. I've keyed up this repeater, Site C, and you can see that it's raised up Sites B and Sites A. Check, check, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Check, one, two, KC0, QVT. Now, obviously, there's some feedback because I'm in close proximity to the radio, so I can also, I'm actually, I'm raising up Site A and I'm keying up sites B and C. Well, this radio here is tuned to site C. Check one, two, KC zero QVT. Check. You see there's a little bit of delay on the audio. That's just because it propagates through the ethernet. Even though we've got a really small system, you've got this uh, radio over IP. So one radio is keying up on site C, coming out on site A. One's coming in on site A and going out on site C. And then we have also site, site B getting it, the audio raised on that. And I don't, of course, have a radio set up on that. So what you're seeing then effectively is I'm keying up on site C, comes out on site A, also on site B. I demonstrated that I keyed up on site A and the audio came out on site C. So this effectively is a multi-site network and it is for wide area. Wide area coverage and the applications to review is when you need uh, to penetrate areas that one site doesn't do enough, doesn't do enough uh, coverage. So you add an extra site. Well, this is the way you can do that. And this doesn't have to be repeaters, by the way. These could be just two-way radios functioning as RF links. So you don't have to do repeaters. You can put uh, base station radios that have uh, accessory port. The applications are virtually unlimited for something like this. And uh, we do provide a, a nice solution. Um, I'm not gonna get into it, but it's, it's all web-based that's inside these, uh, these devices here. So you have to configure up the talk map and that's how you architect the ability for the sites to, uh, to communicate with one another. And you can get pretty exotic with how you want to have these sites connect to each other. So for example, you could, sometimes you could do site A to site B, but you don't want site C. Or you could have it such that if a call comes in on site B, it only wants to go over to site C. You could have it to where if you got a call come in on site C, you can go to A and B. So you can get, you can get creative with how you want these talk maps to work. And that's of course done in the, uh, in the talk map creation. But anyway, this is a quick summary of what's going on. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please contact us at sales at bridgecomsystems.com. My name's Ron, we're happy to help you. Thank you.